400 Pro HD is the top of the line compact light head from Simpex. It has been designed to work parallel with new DSLR cameras. New features have been introduced with completely new looks. One of the significant improvement is full round flash tube, resulting in smooth light and new coating. It renders better color temperature throughout the flash power range. User can easily replace the flash tube. Let's have the overview of the control panel. Here we have modeling lamp fuse. This one is eye cell receptor, commonly known as slave. Next down is 3.5 mm synchronized socket, sporty and sturdy handle. It also holds two spare fuse underneath. The unique feature of the unit is big colored LCD display and some advanced features to customize adjustments. Once switched on, the LCD screen displays number of options like this fan icon, 400 Pro HD features and active cooling system. The fan is controlled by a microprocessor which gets the temperature data from the sensors inside the unit. The fan is so silent that you barely notice it even working with multiple units. Flash and modeling lamp power will increase and decrease using scroll buttons proportionately while they are in prop mode. To switch on or off modeling lamp, press lamp prop button once. If you want to change the lamp power independently or in free mode, use lamp power buttons. Users have 40 steps from 10 to 50 to control flash and lamp power. Simpex 400 Pro HD has a charge ready beep function for acoustic confirmation that unit has fired and recharged. To activate or deactivate, simply press lamp free up and down button together. To change the length of beep, press and hold modeling lamp up and down buttons for 3 seconds. A3 is the default length. Scroll to change the length of beep. A1 means beep will be short and A7 means a longer beep. Simpex 400 Pro HD features a visual flash control or the VFC. This gives visual check on flash fire. To activate or deactivate this feature, press hold lamp prop button for 2 seconds. LCD screen will display F0, which means it's off. Use the scroll up and down to change it to F1 and leave it for 4 seconds to finalize the settings. Press test button, modeling lamp has been turned off after flash has fired. If you want to use light setup using eye cell option, activate it by pressing eye cell button once. Another new feature is pre-flash mode. Pre-flash are the multiple flashes fired by the on-camera flash for anti-red eye. If you do not have option to turn off pre-flash, then light won't synchronize with the camera. Press and hold the eye cell button for 4 seconds until C appears. Zero denotes automatic detection of pre-flashes. Release a test shutter from the camera and eye cell will automatically detect the number of flashes, time frame of flashes and time block of flashes. If auto detection is not able to detect the pre-flash data, then you can manually adjust the number of pre-flash and timings. To adjust the time frame, press and hold eye cell button until it shows T. To change the time, use the scroll button. Time frame is total time in which all the pre-flash and final flash will fire. Toggle using the eye cell button to B. This is the pre-flash block timing, which means time interval between each flash. To switch on the pre-flash mode, press and hold eye cell button for couple of seconds until you see eye icon has started blinking. To switch off, simply press eye cell once. 400 Pro HD has inbuilt radio receiver or the Skyport receiver. Press and hold flash power buttons together. 
ARD1 means sky port receiver is on. Scroll to ARD0 to switch off or ARD2 which is speed mode. To use this mode you need to change the settings of sky port. Holding the test button of sky port for 10 seconds you will see the LED blink twice. This means that now sky port is also in speed mode. Press and hold flash power buttons together, then press prop button once to select group, channel, and power step per push settings. Power step per push is the multiplier by which flash power will increase or decrease. Id1 means increment will happen by one step. Id5 means increment will happen by five steps. And Id0 means increment will happen by 10 steps. Skyport can also control flash power and can switch on and off the modeling lamp. Flash power can be changed using minus and plus buttons to switch off the modeling lamp, press and hold plus button.